done it before. Yeah, cost free. Hey, I bet a bundle on our win. Losing's just not an option, eh? Hey, look, Samson. Fresh meat. Hmm. <laughs> Be embarrassing to lose to a rookie. Chill. Gunk will probably crash out on the oh, first bend. About those rope What am I supposed to do? Hey, V. Good to see you. So how's it look to you? Give me my take once we cross the finish line. Provided we arrive in one piece. Hey, focus on winning. Yeah, I'll go heavy on the throttle. NC badges are okay with this? NC badges can't see a problem around the stack of Eddie's put in front of them. Solve every problem, don't they, Eddie's? Mm-hmm. No consequences for corpses in these races? Cops don't care who dies. They just funnel the data through their accident reports. A bullet to the brain counts as a traffic fatality? Depends on the street. Any tips before we roll? Don't take your foot off the chew. My job will be to slow everyone else down. Ultimately, it'll be speed, not firepower, that'll win us this race. Go fast. Got it. Oh, take the shard. What's this for? It'll show you the route. You'd be driving blind without it. We need to hit all the checkpoints or we'll be disqualified. If you want to hang a bit, do. I'll be in the rig. When do we start? The shard. It's all on there.
jinx it! We and Claire are victors! What did we just see? We fucking won! First place! You sound surprised. First fucking place! It's not that I'm surprised, it's just... I know. First place. I heard you. Let's hold up at the finish line a minute, just in case. You got it. Do these races every year? My fourth time this. First time out, I won. It gets you hooked. I can't give it up now. Can't or won't? What's the difference? You do this for the eddies, the winds, the glory. Why do you race? It's like you've got laser focus. You don't like winning? Yeah, it depends on what I stand to gain and what I got to put in. Yeah. The price can be pretty high. You say you lost your last driver? Can we not talk about it? Sure. Sure. Need a lift to the shop? Now nah, I'm good. Get there myself. Sure. Till next time. Till next time. What are you doing? I'm perfectly satisfied with my appearance, thank you very much. Sir, please stop. Or you'll do fucking whoop. You deaf? He asked you to do something politely. Chill the fuck out. It's just an SCSM. Please, just leave me alone. Do it for your mother. I know Helen's very worried about you. The fuck? How you know my ma? You know him? Not personally. But his mother sometimes drops by for coffee. She says I'm a great listener. Can't argue with that. You're talking shit about my mama? I'll fuck you up! Be chilled, all right? Brendan didn't mean anything by it. It's not in his nature. How could he mean anything? He's a fucking SCSM. 
and he's collecting data on my mom. It's called having a memory. Pretty standard these days. Trying to be smart with me? Why are you defending him? This pile of rust collecting dirt on me for the fucking corpse, yo. Who knows? Maybe you're a corpo agent, too. Who the fuck do you work for, huh? <laughs> Thank you, V. Boy, I was scared to my core. I thought he'd paint some mean things on me. The humiliation. Say, since we've been through so much together, I guess that makes us best friends. That calls for a discount. Thanks, Brendan. Don't worry, you deserve it. You're one tough cookie, and yet so nice. Not to everyone. I couldn't be mean even if I wanted to. Especially to you. Can't speak ill of the dead, right? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be here. And yet, here you are. Like a glitch in the system. Or a demon coated by a brilliant netrunner. You know what demons are capable of. Right, V? How... how did you know that? Surprised? Lots of people come to me. So, I listen to them, and learn how they talk. I caught your name once or twice and pieced together the puzzle. Not bad for a CSM, right? Uh, how about... We'll talk later, all right? Catch you later, Brendan. I guess. You? You were great. Get all that shit I said to you. Eddie's will hit your pocket soon. And should I mention there'll be a bonus? Enjoy!
Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deeds about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I've a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah. You could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on, I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as by ya. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the Mox. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Came to Clouds for info. Left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Appreciate it. Now what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. 
You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Probably needs some time to think. Couple days, tops. And you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No. Me and the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Oh. What do you wanna do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Fine. Want you to do it. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, 
We go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Perhaps most appealing to locals and newcomers alike is the astonishingly low crime level. Antarcticans enjoy a murder rate of only 70 per 100,000 residents. Thank you for watching and 54 News. We'll see you next time. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. That's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Just do a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. <laughs> Here's my token of gratitude. the ground floor to get out of this place almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died and the feeling it was so fucking strong you know revenge isn't ever really worth it people want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief but that's not how it works Go with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom. 
Can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. How's Jake holding up? Not so great. We managed to stem the bleeding, but without that implant. What's going on? Jake got hit. Badly. He needs a new kidney as of this minute. Only problem is, he's got sickle cell anemia. He'll need a specially customized kidney implant. As you can imagine, that kind of thing isn't easy to come by out here in the Badlands. Raff and Shiv, were they the ones behind this? Mm-hmm. We pulled through this time. Barely. Shrapnel caught Jake half an inch below his flak jacket. <sighs> That's a tough break. It still isn't too late to save him. But time's running out. You can find an implant like that in Night City. No questions asked. Right. Dakota called up her contact at one of the hospitals. Was told they could work something out. But... But that means getting to the city, and you see the state the camp's in. Raff and Shiv could come back at any moment. It's all hands on deck. You know where this is going, V. I won't beat around the bush. Can you help us? You can count on me. I know. V. Dakota's contact works at a hospital in Little China. All you have to do is pick up the implant. The money will take a more secure route. Gotcha. See you later, then. Oh, hi. It's, uh, Cynthia, Pepe's wife. Remember me? Uh-huh, I do. I don't know what you told him, but... Thanks. Thank you so much.
That's right. You got the goods? Right here. Dinalar Super Kidney. Especially for sickle cell anemic. Just like we agreed. Eddies will get to you. Yeah, yes. Later, I know. I have to go now. They I'm never offering. make it easy, do they? Had enough of this shit! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I won't if you give me an explanation. And <laughs> it better be fucking good. The phone call with Dakota. It was tapped. The police. They made me do it. Nice try. Badges wouldn't go to all that trouble over a kidney implant. Wait, please! It's the truth! They said they were rounding up every last Raff and Shiv member in Night City. But Dakota isn't... Never mind. You won't please, get it. Please, let me go. I... I didn't want to get mixed up in this. I had no choice. Unlike the badges, I don't kill people without a good reason. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. You should be thanking me, not God. Isn't that what docs always say? Wait, wait! The super kidney. The police put a virus onto it. Use the firmware from this shard if you want the patient to live. Your honesty is much appreciated. It, it's the least I owed you. It's better be worth it. Got Jake's implant, but there's a virus on it. You'll have to swap out its firmware with the original on the shard. <laughs> what a surprise. Nomads always get special treatment. Thanks for being careful, V. Come by in a few hours. Things should settle down by then. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, 